example, both of these pictures were taken um, with the Liverpool two meter telescope. It's of the Ptolemaeus trio. When you've got a last quarter moon or a first quarter, you've got all of this gorgeous relief on the lunar surface and all of these lovely shadows and highlights. And that is one of the things I just love to draw. But over here, when the moon's nearly full, you can barely even see that crater trio. I know it's there because I know that part of the moon really well, having studied it for a long time. But if it really wasn't for Crater Herschel, it'd be hard to even get your bearings on that trio. So it's super important that you don't choose a picture of Ptolemaeus that looks like this and try to draw it because there's nothing to draw. It's really boring. So just when you're looking for pictures to practice on, just look for stuff that's got really good shadows. And shadows on the moon are awesome. They're so crisp and sharp because it doesn't have an atmosphere, which is great. The other thing that can help, um, especially with photographs, but also at the eyepiece, is if you break up what you're seeing into abstract shapes. So I get complimented on this photograph quite a lot. People saying it's so good, it looks like a photograph. Trust me, if you overlay this on top of a photograph, they are nowhere near the same at all. But let me just zoom in on a couple of features here. None of these things are exactly fine art. There are some scribbles with some black triangles that aren't even fully colored in there are just little squiggles here and there what you're doing here is finding a texture with your pencil that mimics what you're seeing through the eyepiece or on a photograph but when you put all of those together and look at the whole you end up with this complete picture so I find personally it's so much easier to break things down into just shapes really and that's the way that I find it best so look for the bright white bits look for the dark bits and then just fill in all the little bits in between and that's pretty much the way that we'll be doing it tonight so we are going to be drawing Crater Plato. The photograph that we're using is by Dave Eagle, but this one here was a, a Damien Peach photograph. I think we have a massive disconnect with the moon when we look at it in terms of how big the craters actually are. And this crater is 109 kilometers across. So if we put one edge in London, it would be halfway to well more than halfway to Gloucester so these craters are big and they're the ones that we've got good pictures of because big telescopes can capture them in really good detail 